Eight days into the new year, there have been 11 murders in Jacksonville, while the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says violent crime is down citywide. Neighbors in crime-ridden neighborhoods say that that's not good enough. New at 6, Action News Jack's Courtney Cole spoke to the leaders of the new crime reduction task force to learn more about their plans to fight crime before the program ends in June. The Crime Reduction Task Force held its first meeting on January 25th. The group, made up of city leaders, law enforcement, everyday people, and even youth, gathered to discuss these Jacksonville crime statistics provided by JSO. According to these statistics, all violent crime is down from 2017 to 2018, except robbery and kidnappings. Councilman Samuel Newby says that's where the task force will come in. I'm sure within the next month, we it will definitely be um, up and running. What do you really expect to get done in this four or five month period? Well, the first thing we do because we're going to take a holistic approach to this. We're going to we're going to inventory all the the crime and safety prevention agencies in, in the city and look because you know we have a, probably a lot of overlapping. When I asked Councilman Newby for a specific timeline of the steps the task force will take, he redirected me to the chairman of the task force, Pastor Mark Griffin. I'm still waiting to hear back. As it stands, the Crime Reduction Task Force is only set to continue through June. But Newby says if all goes well, it will be extended to a permanent committee. What would it take to continue this task force past June? I don't think it would take to just city council. We, we, we just do a bill, and, and I'm sure I'm sure we will. That's all it takes. And funding. We actually have $1 million in the special contention fund for this, this task force. And also, um, the council president said if we need more money, he will provide more money. So that's going to be the difference. Reporting in downtown Jacksonville, Courtney Cole, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax.